In this lesson, we're going to look at using auto shapes. If you had something up from the previous lesson, you can either move on to a new document or you can just delete what you had. I'm going to open up a new document and just use the defaults. So over underneath my vector tools, underneath my line are my auto shapes. I'm going to grab just my rounded rectangle for now. And when I draw a rectangle out onto my page, what distinguishes my auto shapes is a yellow diamond. My yellow diamond, in general, lets me resize my shapes. Very easy to do so. And my diamond itself allows me to change the corner radius of that object. Now, that's great, but that's not all. If I hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, it lets me change that corner radius individually instead of changing all of them at the same time. We need to be careful where we're clicking when we're using our options in our auto shapes. So Alt and Option normally copies. So when we use our auto shapes, make sure you're clicking on just your yellow diamond or you may end up with a dialog box that says editing sub elements of an auto shape may cause it to behave unpredictably. And depending on whether you've actually made a copy or not, you can just click on either OK or Cancel and you should be just fine. So I could make this into a corner point instead. If I hold down my Alt or Option key and I just click, then I get my different corner options, so inverted, beveled, and my regular rounded. I can change this whenever I would like, just holding down my Alt or Option key. Some of my other options that I have, let's say a star. So if I draw a star, I've got a lot more points and a lot more options with this. So again, over here in the bottom left-hand corner, I have my points. So for instance, if I wanted more points to that particular star, all I have to do is click and pull up. And now I'm clicking and pulling down. And I've got my five star again. I have an inside radius here. And if I pull in, you see that it's getting sharper. And if I pull out, I'm basically kind of bloating that particular radius. I've got another roundness here. So if I change this, notice how I'm changing the roundness of that particular star. And I have another one here. So if I pull out, or if I pull in, I'm changing the roundness of that. Then I can change the actual how pointed or how far out those particular elements are. And I'll make this a lot more interesting there. Now that's just a preview of what we can do. There's other things that we can do with those auto shapes. Now we've got a whole other section over here in our panels for other types of auto shapes. So I've got cogs and crescents and cylinders and even a 3D box. And underneath my window menu, I have an auto shape properties. So this allows me a little more control with different auto shapes. So for instance, my donut. And now I see my outer radius. and an inner radius. And if I like doing things by the numbers, then my auto shape properties is the ticket. Now that's just a preview of using auto shapes.